right, guys, uh, we're going to do some backflips today. Uh, I remember back in the day, I was having issues with, with the backflip, and I'd do the flip and blow it over my head. And uh, yeah, that'll, that's what can happen to you. Right, 33 gate? So when you do your backflip, you just want to use the cyclic stick only. See, see, my, see my throttle stick here is not moving? And just like that, see the helicopter is rising. And I'm really just, yeah, you just don't want to use any throttle when you're doing them flips. You want to get up there and even if you're doing forward, just hold that forward uh, elevator and push it, pull it back. And then you can give it throttle and make it go back up. But don't give it any throttle while you're doing the flip because you'll blow it over your head like that. Yeah, I mean, it's cool when you um blowing them forward like this. But you don't want to do it when you, unless you got it way out ahead of you. Then you just blow it over your head. Um, and uh, hey Jay, here goes that uh, pirouette. I've increased my yaw rate on this copter. I'm gonna have to take the transition with my 450 to be this fast. Kind of like it. Yes, that's it. That completes the WC uh, back and forward uh, flip class. And if your helicopter doesn't spin fast, make sure you get some altitude so you'll be able to get out of it. It's real easy. Just get it up there and just push it. It's that easy. It's not hard. Hopefully your tail doesn't blow out. It will blow out if you try to give it some throttle, most likely. So don't try to don't give it no throttle when you do your flip. Just collective only. Uh, cyclic, I'm sorry. Cyclic only. And we're doing forward and backwards today. Thanks for watching.